Hey guys, and welcome back to Just Being Maddie. Um, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Um, today is going to be my unboxing of the Writer Tarot deck. Um, I've done one other unboxing on this channel, um, and this is my third tarot deck. Um, I wanted a, like, I really wanted this, like, I don't want to call it standard tarot because, like, the other one I have are very similar of that whole, like, writer, writer weight, I think is the, like, kind of style, um, writer weight tarot, that whole style of that, um, like, I don't know how to describe it. They all kind of have the same idea in a way. I don't know how, you guys kind of get what I mean. Like, they all have that same system. Um, so I wanted to pick up the actual, like, writer weight tarot, and I just bought this off Amazon. Um, I want to say it was $16.95 on Amazon. Um, I will leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in it. Um, on Amazon, I'm not, like, affiliated or anything. I just, if you want it, I, if you got Prime, you get it in two days, and who doesn't love that, right? Um, but I did take the plastic off because that's a struggle bus that I... Oh, and there's plastic on the inside. Why? Okay, I'm sorry, but like, you came in plastic. Why do you need to be wrapped in plastic? Really annoying. That really bothers me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just like so against that. Um, but here's the back of the box. Um, designed by, I don't know, I'm not going to try. Smith, I can pronounce your last name. Paul, Palma, Palma. Why do I try? I say I'm not going to try, and then I try. But there's back of the box. I like the box is yellow. Oh, plastic. Ah, I'm looking at cards. No. Okay. Let me struggle bus here, guys. I hate. Too much plastic in the world, guys. Too much plastic. Okay. Can you hear that? Is that annoying? It's annoying to me. Okay. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm cheating. Okay. So here is the little booklet, and it is just like a legit paper little white booklet. Um, not super crazy, like in depth, which is kind of okay. Like it has the um, the Greater Arcana in their meetings, and then it has um, the Lesser Arcana goes under the suit. All of that. I kind of like this. I kind of like how very simple this is. Kind of helps me. Oh, it does have the reversed, which is nice because, like, I don't understand that. I'm very new to tarot, so you can judge me, but I'd really prefer if you don't. I love the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there are a couple, like, oh my gosh. Okay, stop cheating. Okay, so two cards in the back that are just like, informational cards so aka I got pretty backgrounds now so we have the magician and this is a 78 card tarot deck which sounds right um so we have the magician which is on the cover I love the yellow We have the High Priestess, the Empress, oh I like that that kind of, okay so that kind of to me looks like one of those um, um, Ouija board things, I don't know if that's what it was supposed to look like, but that's what it looks like to me. The Emperor, he looks like he's a boss, he's in charge. Um, the Hierophant. The lovers. Like, okay, so it has like the tree with the fruit and like the devil and the angel and like making decisions. The chariot. Having to do like, like he's in control of them, but like not, like there's no reins or like him holding on to them. Strength. It looks like she or he or this this person, she, this person here, she is 
like almost grabbing on to the lion's mouth, but also like petting him at the same time. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. They're a little glossy. We have the hermit with his lantern. The wheel of fortune. Justice. Scales. A hanged man. Oh, I like death. Like almost like a horseman. Like he's the horseman of death. That looks like a person that he like walked over. Temperance. The devil. Like chain the people. And these people look very, very similar design to the lover's card, which I kind of like. The tower. They're like jumping out of it. The star. The moon. The moon is a very bright card. Like it's very light. And I don't know. I don't know if I love that about it or not. The sun. Look at the child. Just like happy with the sunflowers. Judgment. They're like begging for something. The world. Ugh. The fool. Bag and a flower, walking off the cliff. This card is what sold me on the deck, and I like not gonna lie. When I opened it up and I didn't see this right away, I was like, "Oh my god, why isn't the fool like the first card that I see?" But I kind of like that it was just like randomly in there. It was kind of like boom, the fool. Okay, so looks like we are jumping right into the wands. I am just going to um. Let me do that really quick. Grab them. Hmm. Okay. So it goes backwards in this deck in a sense. Like they're ordered by like the king and then to like the ace. So the king of wands. The Queen of Wands. Does it look like they're kind of like chilling next to each other? Like I kind of get that vibe. Like they're like sitting next to each other like having a conversation. Um. Sorry, I just had a little bit of water. The Knight of Wands. I like that the wands are depicted with like almost like a piece of wood. The Page of Wands. So this would be 10, the 10 of wands, the 9 of wands, the 8, 7, Jolly Green Giant, anyone? <laughs> the 6 of wands. Looks like they're like almost like pitchforks in a way. I don't know. Five. Four, like they're like celebrating something together. Three. The two of wands. The ace of wands, like holding on to it. Oh, I love that. Okay, so now we have the cups. We have the king of cups. The queen of cups. I just get this feeling that they're like sitting next to each other. The knight of cups. 
page with a little fish in the cup. Oh, I love that. And then I've got the 10. They look so happy. The 9. The Eight of Cups. This threw me off for a second, and I was like, something's missing, but like, there's only eight. I had to count them, sorry. <laughs> the Seven of Cups. I like how there's something in each cup. The Six. Six of Cups. The flowers in them. And like, the cups seem really big for these, like, people. Five, they're like spilt over and looks like they're sad. Again, guys, like I am very, very new to tarot in a sense of like I don't really know what every card means, so I just go off of what I'm getting from the images. So if I'm like a hundred percent wrong and you're like, why don't you know this? It's because like I don't know it. So but yeah. Um the four. Looks like they're like looking at these three cups, like wanting more in a way. But like they're like, here, there's a fourth one. The three of cups, they're like celebrating and like cheers. I love that. The two of cups. Oh, that looks like the um like the medical sign. Like like doctors have, you know what I mean? And then the ace of cups. Okay, guys, we are now on the swords. So we have the king of swords and the queen of swords. She's totally telling him what to do. They're like driving. I just like picture the two of them in a car together. Is that weird? The minute I look at them, I always like, I immediately think of like the king and the queen in a car together, like what their conversation would be. The knight of swords, he is in a battle. He's like, Charge! Don't you see that? The look on the faces. The page of swords. It's like he's got the sword. He looks like he's determined, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, ugh. Why are you holding a sword? Should you be holding a sword? Do you know what you're supposed to do with that? Okay, we have the ten. Ooh, puncturing into someone's body. Into the body of the person there. The nine. Looks like they can't rest. We have the eight. I think bound and blindfolded, but like surrounded by swords and I don't know, like you could cut yourself loose. Like you could easily like oh, you're just standing there. The seven, he's like trying to carry him on, but can't. And his hat kind of reminds me of like the ones that you see, like this is really bad because like we shouldn't do this to animals, but the ones you see like little monkeys wearing. Do you know what I mean? Like the little, yeah. Six, yeah. The six of swords. Five of swords. Four of Swords. I was like, where's the fourth one? It's right there. Ooh. Three of Swords. The Two of Swords. Blindfolded with the Moon. I love that. And the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have the Pentacles. Got the King. And the queen. Oh. The knight. The page of pentacles. We've got the ten. Nine. I like how these are kind of just like chilling. And the flowers or the vines. The eight. Hard at work putting them together. He had a lot to make. Same. 
looks like he's like trying to move this pile and it's like a lot of work and he just like looks sad that he has to move all of these for the seven of pentacles six i like the scale I'm, like feeding people like begging five it's like snowing it looks kind of like a church window like the stained glass of a church window Four pentacles. And three. Looks like they're holding something, trying to get something from the sky. The two of pentacles with like the infinity sign. I love that. And the ace of pentacles. Okay. So now I am going to shuffle these cards. And then we'll just like. We'll pick a couple. Why not, right? I hope I'm even... Okay. I am. Sorry. I'm, like, kneeling in front of the camera, so I kind of feel like my, my knees were killing me, so I, like, crouched down here for a second while I shuffle. Oh, my gosh. My shuffling skills need work, guys. Aren't these beautiful backs, though? Oh. Okay. We are going to pull this top card. We have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups. Okay. The Knight of Cups. Graceful, not warlike. Riding quietly, wearing a winged helmet. Referring to the higher graces of the imagination which sometimes characterize this card. Divinatory meanings, arrival, approach, sometimes that of a pass a messenger advances present, um, reverse, tricky, windling, fraud. Okay. Huh. It's a very direct meaning. I kind of like that, but I kind of also kind of like like when they have little stories. I feel like I kind of connect better when they have little stories. So like, graceful, not more like he's riding quietly. So he's just like chilling, riding his horse. He's like, I'm gonna get there, with his winged helmet, referring to like his imagination. Okay, I can see it. Let's draw another one. Ooh, we have the Eight of Cups. Apparently we have a lot of cups, so I'll shuffle again after this. Um, eight of Cups. Uh, a man of dejected aspect. Aspect is deserting the cups of his fidelity enterprise, undertaking her previous concerns. The card speaks for itself on the surface, but for others, reading are entirely. Um, the dyslexic in me is having issues with these words. They kind of aren't the easiest. I'm giving joy, mindness, horror, honor, honesty, in reverse, great joy, happiness, feasting. So, okay, this card confuses me a little, I'm not going to lie. So he's like giving up his enterprise. Um, or previous, he's giving up his previous concerns. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, let me flip. Let me shuffle one more time, and then we'll pick up two more cards. Ooh! My gosh, guys, the cups! What the heck? These cups are just yelling at us. So we've got the Ace of Cups. I swear I'm shuffling. You guys see me shuffling. Okay, the Ace of Cups. The waters are beneath, upon which are water lilies. The hands issue from the cloud, holding in his palm the cup, from which four streams are pouring, a dove bearing at its beak, a cross-marked host, descends to a place in the waf wafer, in the water in the cup. Um, the dew of the water is falling on its sides. It is an illusion of which may lie beneath the lesser arcana. 
um, true heart, joy, content, um, fertility, holy table, reverse, false hearts, manipulation, revolution. Okay, one more, and let's not draw a cup. Come on. They're just like talking to me, right? We want to read what other cards mean. I mean, most people probably know what those cards mean. I feel like a lot of you guys have already owned these ones. <laughs> The Queen of Pentacles. Do, do, do. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. The face suggests a dark of a dark woman whose qualities might be summed up in the idea of greatness of soul. She is also the serious cast of intelligence. She compliments her symbol and they see the world in therein. Um, generosity, liberty, and reverse evil, fear. Suspicious, suspense, suspicious, suspense. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Words are hard right now. But yeah, that is the Rider Tarot deck. Um, and these are the cards we pulled. The cups apparently were throwing themselves at us. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough, unboxing, me struggling reading words. If you guys want to see more of my videos, give this. You know, let me know in the comments below if you love seeing unboxings, things like that. If there's any decks that I should purchase or books that I should purchase, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if I didn't say that already. And subscribe. I would love that. Thank you. Bye, guys.